Excuse me, sir. You can't park there. Are you Bo or Luke Duke? Both. Who's gone fishing? Last Mexico race, Fish Logistics, Austin. Was racing a Baja light. We thought we'd uh, start from his dead last and catch him and pass him. Oh. We went less than a mile on blue motor. Shot a rod to the side of the motor. <laughs> we didn't even have any bait to go fishing, son. That's how bad it was. Well, you know? good, good thing you left the hashtag on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that trending? Uh, maybe on TikTok. Instagram, not so much. Oh, shit. Hey, got any lube? What? Got any lube? No. Why? Because we need lube on this thing. Oh, wow. Longer in, bud. Fuel pump sounds fucking happy, bro. Happy. Oh my god. That poor guy. All right, tell us about this thing. Well, it's a, it started out as a Ford Ranger. It still has a full frame in it for the class that it has to race in. It's got a Mustang. What class is that? What class is... 7, sorry. So what are you doing in class 7? Class 7 had, can't be any wider than 86 inches. Has to have a V6. It's actually 7F technically factory so it has to have the full frame motor can't be pushed back it has to have a v6 doesn't matter what v6 no i don't think so maybe it does well this one has one of those coyotes that misses missing two cylinders that's what this one is something like that yeah yeah so she does all right but it's got a c6 training in it two works housing 10 inch rear gear 37s delco um, only three seats how long before these motors blow up how many have you gone through? Um, this will be motor number three now. <laughs> um, first two, yeah, they shot rods to the side of the block. I don't know if that's really a, I don't know if that was a tune thing. I'd say that was more of an RPM thing. Uh, Mark was saying that they had to really ring these things out and apparently their limit is 6,800, 7,000, something like that. That's no, what it, was, it was set at 7,800 before. Oh. It was set at 78, and they didn't like that. But it also had, um, the guy who did our wiring harness was, was screwed up. And so our, whatever these things have, like there was the VB, what is it, TI, what is the VCT? Just variable valve timing. Yeah, those. Was not working correctly. So, um, yeah, it went through uh, two motors. So we figured it out. All right, that was, what probably was happening there is the cams were staying all the way retarded and not advancing so they're probably at zero or something like that since it wasn't working right so that would definitely push the power band to the very top and that would kill all the torque in these does that sound about right yeah that sounds that sounds right yes. so they had no torque <laughs> third gear was worthless you never pull third gear like even like we'd hit like 65 in second go pull third and it would start losing horsepower or start losing mile per hour so part is is that my cousins that own this truck still caught and passed a lot of trucks with the motor that way mm -hmm. did very well he let Joel drive it. Yeah, he could probably drive it. Yeah, he just might as well put a throttle or a switch in for him for the throttle. He don't need anything else. <laughs> All right, well, we got HP tuners. We have our MPVI 2 Plus plugged in there, and we're going to pull the tune out. Look at that. I don't think this is a tune issue. It probably, I mean, this is a factory motor from the wrecking yard. I don't think there's anything special going on here, correct? Baja's 2. Baja's 2, but no, you don't have a sticker on here, bro. I know, I need to. What do these things cost at Baja's 2? Well, when we first built this truck, they were 550 bucks. And now they're up to 1600 So, Ooh. really breaks the bank, you know what I mean? What do these things come in? Is this like a Mustang motor? Mustang motor, they come in like a, yeah, Mustang, I guess, and a F-150. 1600 bucks? 500, 1600 bucks? Yeah. Right, we'll see what it makes. We can't talk about the numbers here because this is a spec class, so yeah. those things aren't allowed to be discussed. You know these guys get all weird for each other over the horsepower numbers <laughs> yeah especially when you tell me it's a junkyard 4.8 then they really get upset you know oh yeah that's one other story yeah we need some video of that truck we'll put it, insert the video of that truck right here <laughs> Back. 
plugged in, got the data log running. This is just baseline stuff. We're gonna see what it does. Are we taking some logs? We have HP tuners configured for a Ford uh, this year, a 2011-2012 setup for this ECU. So this is all the stuff we're looking at. A bunch of stuff that is pretty much gibberish to normal people, but see what all this is doing. All right, let's go. Drinking the fuel down here. Look at that. Holy shit. Let's go see what happened. <laughs> oh my lord. Well, it's just the belt's off. There's no holes in the block. That's always good. That's, a, that's for starters. Whew. Feeling lucky, punk? I'm, a, I'm all right. Oh, now we don't have a diagram. We really don't. Check the factory course for it. See what it says. <laughs> <laughs> Should probably draw one on here in case this happens when you're yeah. racing. That might be a good call. Yeah, don't remind me. Gosh, David. Some prick was running on a dyno and everything's too hot to work on. Well, why is there WD-40 over there? What were you doing, bud? Oh, uh, the wheel bearings are... Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it was squealing. I tried to fix it. And I clearly yeah. it. Lube, and there she went. Slipped the panties to the side and bam. Just like that, we were done. Want to use this time for belly rubs? Oh, good job. Ah. Look at that collar. Whoa. While we're waiting, send me some more videos of you hooning around the neighborhood. I'll add that so people can watch that right now while we're waiting for this to cool down so we can put the belt back on. Okay, I'll make another. <laughs> After a, a solid 15 minutes of cussing at this thing. <laughs> Mark's in art class over here. Drawing the belting, belt, belting, the routing layout. So someone doesn't have to go through that ever again. I'm not very good at puzzles. Clearly Lance is. <laughs> I was getting frustrated. <laughs> Should I, do I think this was definitely designed by a woman. Yes, make things complicated. Uh-huh. Yeah. But now that we know the belt's too loose, after figuring out how to put it on, we can go get another belt. Belt's back on. We got a shorter one. We found some horse torques in there. So, our peak number is the same. We found these guys right in here. And that's power all through here. So people get caught on like a peak number. We're trying to make power, more power everywhere. Like, because it's going to accelerate faster through that area. Do you get it? Do you understand? Sure. Okay, let's go. Let's go back to it. All right, let's get back to it. Oh, here we go. All right, well, we got a little bit of knock right there, which corresponds to over there on the dyno. Uh, without turning this one around and losing everything. So, a little 1280 right there, so... We're gonna fatten that part up. That's right around, that's not right around our torque peak. So we need some more fuel at our torque peak. Let's make that adjustment and see where we go. What do you think? I don't know, I, I don't even know what I'm, I don't even know what I'm doing over here. I'm just, just guessing at this point. Oh, you love know, pissing off the tweakers. <laughs> oh my God. We're still over here pretending we know what we're doing. We don't. Yeah, we don't. Big we did big find, big. Uh, we found some more horse torques down there. Got that, uh... We're not sure what this is, so if someone can tell us what that is, that'd be great, you know? <laughs> I let off the gas too early, so the dyno was still sampling, that's what that is. Yeah, we're almost there, I think. I mean, I don't know. I'll just keep pushing buttons until we figure out what the fuck we're doing over here, like always. <laughs> is 
an O2 sensor that's going a little wacky. I need to figure that out. Oh, see, it's these little things that cause a problem. What's up, bud? It's comfy down here. I know you're <laughs> so you said one of the sensors is rubbing on something over there? Yeah, something like that. It's not rubbing. It did it intermittently. It was working, and then it wasn't, and then it was. So we just got to make sure all the wires are tied on the way we wiggle them. And... The only thing I can think of is that this thing is zip tied to the dipstick. Will that cause any problems? Um, I mean, I don't know. It depends on if there's a hole in the wire or sheath or something. Let's... Well, it's in a, it's in a, a silicone boot, whatever it's called, this asbestos boot. It's in the fire sleeve? Yeah, that stuff. Well, let's move some stuff around and see if we can figure it out. Well, I mean, that's how it's supposed to look now. Up, please. I think it first or last. <laughs> I mean, I think this thing was more troubleshooting today than anything. Yeah. I just fumbled around the keyboard Look. and pretended I knew what I was my doing. Hands got dirty. Oh People are my think I actually god! Dirty, I can't do that. Oh hell no! I even got the old work boots on. Yeah, I always see his son because I'm in here baking right now. <laughs> and well, we got that thing looking right, so that's good. Nice and safe. It's ready to go pre-run. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, things get easier when both those two sensors work. So that's always good. So they both work now. Everything's working. All right, well, now that that's all figured out, I guess, you know, usually the next thing, you know the next thing is. Me? Yeah, I don't, you, I don't, you know what the next thing know. is. I can get involved with speakers down below. Well, well, let's head to Mexico. The Hong Kong 250 down there. Yeah, exactly. terrorizing these people around here. Yeah, would be fun. It's like his favorite thing to do when he comes down here. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it's almost ended in a couple fights, but it's almost ended in a couple fights. <laughs> so he's probably in the back straight right now doing about 80. Oh yeah I hear him. better works a lot better a lot more consistent when you get on the gas it actually just flows it keeps pulling it doesn't like drop off i always say that though when i leave here with all my jokes oh wow buttering up because he hasn't gotten the bill yet so he's over here yeah true things a pile <laughs> no, like i said there's actually bottom end now. Oh, i think we can find more we just need there's a little couple hiccups but big ford ecu tuner over here now bud yeah Make all your forwards. <laughs> Loser. Bro, I need video of you approving the video before we drop the video. It's eight minutes, it's nine, ten minutes long. So? It's okay. not a ten minutes long, it's like eight minutes long. I can't even read. 855. Is By the time one? you add this and the dyno pulls around, ten, ten minutes. So? That's longer than, that's longer than, that, that's longer video than what the motor lasted long the last time. Exactly. <laughs> We went a whole 67 seconds into the race and lost a motor. You oh, we have that in here? We, I can send you that video too if you like. Yeah, send me that video. That's embarrassing. Include I have a right here. Episode on Instagram. Well, send it to me. 67 Included. seconds. Uh... All right. Video's over. That's a wrap. Like and subscribe. All day, man. You're done. Let me find this for you. Nothing. <laughs>